Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef. It's Two Video Tuesday. I'm playing some more Thrive. We're going to be continuing with the organism I started a little while ago. I was in a little bit of trouble with it last week. In terms of uh, energy production, it seems to be completely reliant on consuming other organisms for its energy. Not the best way to go. You gotta find them first. We did get to the multicellular stage, so let's jump in and continue that. Okay, here we are. Oh god, the, the organism that I left behind before is already um already having issues. You notice when I move my ATP suffers. I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit, and when these die, I'm gonna consume all the all the organelles. Not all of them, just most of them. Apparently I can't eat... Oh yes I can, I can eat that organism. But that's... that's fun. Can I... Oh, I've got another cell already. That was convenient. Gonna see if I can get my way over to this one. I did arrange the organism in kind of a... I don't want to say circular, but a uniform pattern. I'm gonna have to develop that as things go along because there's going to be like superfluous oh god i had to take evasive action then yeah there's going to be superfluous uh what they called flagellum and cilia now that i think about it so eventually i'll get rid of those in favor of keeping them on the outside the organism and then i can adapt the inner cells to be a little bit more efficient. <laughs> Can I get this one without being spiked? Kinda, yeah. Oh, you see, look, I'm um, I'm having issues here already. The iron is going to help, but I'm also going to have to find it. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah. See, stuff like that is going to be a huge issue because I've, I've essentially got no way of defending myself here oh god oh okay fine fine other me you can have that piece of food that i wanted let's go up and see if i can get one of these guys uh Oh yeah, you see that that got a little bit sketchy. I am uh, getting these extra cells pretty pretty quickly. It's always fun. Need to zoom out so I can see the things that I have to eat. There's uh, 4.9 thousand of me. There was some. Oh no, there's one right there. It's really difficult to tell, like, which way I'm traveling here. There we go. It does look like the other members of my species are uh, quite aggressive. There we go. Lots of ingested matter. Making some progress here. It, it's definitely a weird looking organism. Things are getting a little bit crazy over here. Look at that other me look. And that one. They're um <laughs> gigantic. It's causing all sorts of issues. <laughs> With the frame rate and it gets worse when I bump into other organisms. <laughs> a little bit on the insane side. I do have to watch my iron levels oh no look at this it's too many it's too many me there are a great many me and it's too many this is bizarre oh god let's see there's a another organism over there a little green one and it's just being devoured Every time I, I see an organism that isn't a me, it doesn't live for very long. 
like at all. My ATP is suffering because I have no ingested matter currently, but my iron levels are keeping me alive somewhat. Let me see if I can get this guy. If I swing around, there we go, like that. I can avoid the spikes and eat the poor little thing. I think I mentioned in last week's video, I'm kind of in danger of eating myself into extinction. If I'm destroying all the other organisms, for lack of a better term, and I rely on them for survival, then I'm not going to survive, am I? Oh dear, this isn't your uh, video messing up, by the way. This is, in fact, just the frame rate right now. I get that guy by the rock. No? I thought that was part of the main body of my cells. It's not. It's just an extra one floating around. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of... Oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't even see that one. You see, this one was trying to eat that organism. This is pretty much how things go. My entire species is uh, the destroyer of worlds. Oh, 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 and it got spiked then. There we go. There's another one down there. Gave me a damn good spiking. Doing fairly well here. My organism looks really strange. I thought it would be like a good shape, but it seems to be um, a bit janky. Uh, all right, okay, okay. Let's let's see if I can rotate into this guy. Yum! Thank you very much. Some hydrogen sulfide over there. I'll grab a bit of that. There's actually a fair amount of it here. Guess I'll grab some of that. It's not a particularly efficient way of getting energy, but it's there and I can use it, so why not? Let's have a look here. Uh oh look at that. Perfect maneuver. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a perfect maneuver and <laughs> Pretend that I believe it's true. I don't believe it so much. I stumbled over my words and then just committed to the lie. Is that a little chunk of iron there? Looks like it. There's some things to eat. I'm trying to avoid that poison cloud. The funny thing about these green organisms that are around here is that when you go to try and consume them, they do an about face, which moves their spikes away from me. Like that one, it was trying to get away, and so it was less dangerous than if it was like coming right at me. There you go, there's another one. This ingested matter really does not last for very long. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, is uh, not of a hell of a lot of nutrients in these things. They are tiny organisms, and I, I've not seen one bigger than this for a long time. There's a group of me's about to die here. I'm going to cannibalize these as best I can. Come on. Are you going to die, or are you not going to die? There we go. Let's grab all of this. I have my evolution available. Yeah, see that ingested matter, it does not last long. And I've just realized my iron is not in a great position. There was some over here, so I'll go float around in that. Before I uh before I do this evolution, it's up there. I can store like a massive amount of it. So it is very much helping. Let's grab all of this. There we go. That should help things.
Right, okay, so here's the organism. The frame rate here isn't particularly awesome. And it's just occurred to me as well that when I did this last week, I'm pretty sure I got a comment about this, that I should have had these as different organisms, uh, cell types, than these. I did not do that. I guess I can fix it now. Like, if I go this and duplicate and go, um, uh, uh, I don't know, um, I'm not sure what to call this, inner cell? Not to be confused with incel, that's an entirely different thing that I'm not going to get involved with right now. So if I get rid of... it doesn't need the flagellum, does it? So I can get rid of that, and it won't need these, so I can get rid of that. And then if I come back to here, can I just replace these with that or do I have to remove them first I forget delete move modify yeah so that's um that modifies the entire cell does the entire group does it not hmm again I feel like I should know that let's have a look here yeah I think if I get rid of these and then replace them with these ones it might help with the frame rate I'm not convinced that it will let's at least start replacing some of them and see how that happens I'm not gonna worry too much about the rotation either if I can get it right I'll, I'll do my best to do that but get rid of this one put this one here I've only got 15 points left and it takes 10 to remove them so I did these ones I'll do these ones next time I'll edit this one next time I guess I'll make another one that says center and I'll just have it in the middle there doing the thing that it does <laughs> yeah this is gonna be very very strange and it's me. Of course it's going to be strange. All I've got to do really is survive to my next evolution. Is the game gonna... There we go. Yeah, if I survive to my next evolution, I'm sure I can start making optimizations. Oh, look, there's a gigantic cell over here. I'm not sure exactly how you managed to get the cells that big. I, I can't turn around right now. Makes me wonder exactly if there's a particular method for doing that. I don't know what it. Instead of having the cells all touching each other, maybe have like a, I don't know, like a grid or a lattice. That might be a good way of doing it. The game doesn't really like it when you have gaps in your the cells of your organism, though. I took a bit of a risk then. Is that one, that green one coming at me? I'm not sure if it's trying to maneuver around me or towards me. It looks like it's coming at me. And it's given up. That's fine. I do have a backup save. This is like a second file. So I can go back to the single cell stage and mess with the shape of it there definitely going to do that probably i'm definitely probably maybe absolutely going to do that i need more iron i, I haven't been paying attention here like at all bunch of phosphate here ammonia this is going to get bad for me unless i can find some uh that's ammonia so yeah you can see my atp starting to struggle it's not too bad right now oh yep yeah, no forget everything that I just said there's iron there can I get to it before my health reaches zero uh, maybe 
Yeah, it's definitely a weird position, isn't it? That I've got myself in right now. Yeah, I, this is not enough. Oops. <laughs> Things are getting kind of crazy here at the moment. I'm hanging around in this pool of iron. So there's a lot of other organisms here. Look at this huge one here. There's loads of these hanging around now, but they're too big for me to engulf. Very much like to change that, but I'm not really sure how to go about it. I might have to do some playing around. If I can make some big changes that will make a big difference. It's going it's been going rather well compared to that last bit that you guys were watching. Definitely still frame rate issues, but that's uh expected. Given my my ridiculous size and cell count, uh, uh, did you? There we go. Is that that thing that happens? They uh, decide to do a runner and leave their spikes facing away from me. I'm very glad that's behaviour that happens. It makes things so much easier for me and my smooth brain. Well, yeah, these things. It'd be awesome if I could consume these. I dare say they're nutrient-rich. Again, I'll have to do some playing around just to see exactly what constitutes a large... Well, well not constitutes, but produces large cells. Oh, 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 yeah, I got myself a little bit, little bit poked there. Poked in the membrane. Which is not, not a place you want to be poked. I don't feel like there's a type of membrane you can have that would be good to have poked. I'm going to stop talking. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm going to continue talking. But I'm going to try and stop talking utter, utter nonsense. Let's have a look. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe... Getting rid of some of those cells that use hydrogen sulfide for energy and replace them with some more digestive enzymes. Not sure if that's, oh god, a good way to go. It should help ever help me make better use of the, re of the organisms that I am consuming. At least in, you know, terms of stuff that I need to live. Right, there's another another evolution. God damn, I've been recording like 45 minutes already. It, it feels like 10. I have so much fun playing this game that it, it just it goes by so quickly. Let's have a look. Wait. Did I not replace these? I'm pretty sure that I did, didn't I? Am I insane? Or did I just do it wrong? Did I replace these with the same cell? I'm sure I, I didn't do that, but it's also a possibility that I did that. It seems odd to me. Okay, well... That's the inner cell that has no cilia or flagellum guess I'll try it again this is a weird issue that I've had before I don't remember how I fixed it I don't think it is actually like a bug or anything like that I think it's something that I'm doing I've had comments about it before and I honestly don't remember how how the uh, suggested fix worked, but uh, I'm literally in real life cringing right now at my lack of ability to do things. What I might do is uh, skip forward to the next evolution and see if it happens again. 
might be a good idea just to see what I can see. Okay, well, now I know for sure something's wrong. I've just come back to the the editor and it's like this all of a sudden. I've got cells all over the place here. Look, that one is in the right place. The, these have been moved to the outside and up there. Some of, There's definitely something weird going on there where I haven't got really much time to fix that, unfortunately. So if you know what's going on with that, maybe put the comments in the comments section and I'll desperately try and remember it for next time and I'll uh, maybe have a mess around with it. Okay, well, that's it for this week's episode of Thrive. Like and subscribe if you did not do that already. Put your comments down in the comments section. This is going to be a fun one for the comments with the weirdness that's been happening in this episode. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens in regards to that. Thank you to the people that do take the time to subscribe, to subscribe and to comment. Again, very much appreciated. It's two video Tuesday, so we've got five now. I'll be doing more Haven Doc later. Come along for that. I'll see you then.